And um, so we had a brilliant idea that neither of us really knows how to cook. So the most logical thing to do is start a cooking show. Of course, so we're gonna cook for you today. And today's menu item on the menu is meatloaf. And featuring cheesy potatoes from Stata Brothers. Ooh. you need is the meat. One pound Where's the of uh, ground meat. Now, right here. you can pick lean, uh, whatever percentage that is, uh, depending on your budget. So this is cheap, cheap meat. But All right. that's okay. Next, we also have dos huevos. Ooh, Spanish. Also, okay. two eggs. Two eggs. We have the rest of our ingredients. Um, you're going to hate this. We don't measure them. <laughs> we do one of those recipes where you just throw things in. So we have breadcrumbs. Ketchup, deli mustard. This is important. This spicy brown, not yellow mustard. This makes the flavor a little bit better. Then we have minced onions. Go ahead and pick up one. This is called also known as horseradish fryer sauce. Good try. Thanks. All right, and then we have just um, a little bit of garlic powder. And we like garlic. Some pepper. Pepper. Eight ounces, eight ounces of tomato sauce. We don't use that until right at the very end. And then we have our cheesy agar. This is good for the meatloaf we're gonna have on the side. So you need two cups of hot water, two tablespoons of margarine or butter, and half a cup of milk. This is a side dish, it's like the feature. All right, step three. Step three, you need to turn the oven on to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So we turn that on so it starts to preheat while we're mixing the ingredients. So uh, what you need to do is take this and cut it open so the packaging is no longer on it, and then just throw it into the bowls. Take the knife and you <laughs> you stab it into your friend no. so that you're the star of the show. So take about halfway and you just slice it, and it just nicely falls apart, and then you just squeeze it in straight into the bowl. Into Fun fact: not a vegan meal. Next step, you're gonna take your dos huevos and crack them into the bowl. Make sure you do not get egg shells in the bowl because then you gotta put them out. It's like really good bowl. That is beautiful. That sounds like a song. Let's do it again. Ooh, but lovely execution. I give her a nine out of ten. Okay, so I like that this was nine. Thank you. Ooh, we can like add it in. <laughs> <laughs> lovely thing about aprons. Just wipe it on there, it's <laughs> wonderful. Okay, so breadcrumbs. I guess you're gonna get, um, here we go, about this much. Then we take the ketchup. Mm -hmm. Do you like to do this part? Sure. And then you're gonna do like three swirls of ketchup. <laughs> One, two, and three, perfect. Right, then we take the deli mustard. Again, um, about three swirls, but do, <laughs> that wasn't planned. That. Do some smaller do swirls of this because the deli mustard has a little bit stronger of a flavor. So you want to do just some small swirls. Shake so it out. Two swirls. One, two. Oh, so yep. One, two with like a little tiny, and that was an extra glue. Yes. Yeah, so you want to just kind of do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty-four, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two. Twenty-two shakes is probably about good. Uh, it didn't come out very well, so that's why I did a lot. So if you don't have the lid on it, probably like a one, two, really fast, um, whatever your flavor of onion is, or what you would judge to be about half an onion. And now we need more sugar, 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 sugar sauce. sauce. So you're gonna pour, and you're gonna go about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is not gonna go well. Kind of shake it. Just guess. <laughs> you can't really go wrong here. I mean, you could, but not like, like too much would probably be bad. That was probably about, um, half a tablespoon. You think? Like a tablespoon. Maybe a tablespoon. Okay. A half to a tablespoon. All right. I'm gonna let you add garlic to your taste. That's that's oh. probably the easiest one. <laughs> <laughs> However much you think we need, and I'll tell you when to stop if it's too much. Okay, a couple of shakes, whatever you feel your garlic preference is, you do not need garlic in this meal, it's just another spice. It's just to keep vampires away. Yeah. So, good. No vampires are going to steal our meat. Pepper. One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> and then, I'm better about my measurements, comes the fun part.
sleep. <gasps> we forgot something! What? The cheese! Aww. That's okay, so we're gonna reload this. Um, this is great. This is what happens in real cooking life things when you cheese. <laughs> And the oven's for you, so we're gonna cut that up. And uh, yeah, so. so now we need to take, we're gonna unwind a little bit. <laughs> cheese, we forgot another ingredient we have is cheese. <laughs> so you take out your cutting board, we have these awesome little tiny cutting boards. And so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the cheese and you're gonna cut it into cubes. Um, so it might be better for you to cut it into like slices first. Um, I'm not going to. Well, I'm gonna kind of cut it into slices. So you just need cubes of, jeez. I cut it into three, three different pieces. I'm gonna turn it um, sideways. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it sideways so that I can cut it now as a cross section. So I have my three layers, I'm gonna cut it as a cross section. Not into a cross, although. That would be cool cheese. Cheeses. <laughs> the cross section. Oh. <laughs> it was like, what? She lives with me, she's not amused by it. Pour the cheese. Okay, so this is the cheese cubed now. So we're gonna pour it back in the bowl with the meat. You should have done this before when we were putting all the ingredients in the Right, so it all makes mash. Well. So we do the monster mash. It monster was a mash. It, it was, was a graveyard smash. We can't do any more of that song because of copyright issues. <laughs> we're gonna put this into the loaf pan, and this is what it's called meatloaf. So if you look here inside of this meatloaf pan, there is some room around the edges. So she pressed it again so that when the grease comes off of the meat, it has like a place to go. Let's go ahead and put this in the oven. And how long is in the oven for? Again? This is in the oven for 45 minutes. 45. 45 minutes on the clock. So we're gonna go and uh, watch some TV for a little bit because we got 43 minutes and we're gonna go and Actually, uh, we have 22 minutes. Although for you, it will be literally just a sec. Be back in a sec. All right. All right, so we are going to put on our safety protection hand goggles, also known as, what are they called? Mittens. Mm, mittens. Uh, oven. Mitt. What is the official name? Oven mitts. I don't know why that was so. <laughs> I literally forgot the name. <laughs> They're oven mitts. Hand goggles. We're gonna put on our hand mm -hmm. goggles, and we're gonna go ahead and pull out the container from the oven. And you're going to dump the meat juice. Okay, so you'll see here the cheese kind of overflows a little bit, and then the meat is cooking. We're just gonna dump out dump some of that yeah, juice you out. out of there. Some of the cheese is gonna fall out. That's okay. Okay, it still needs to cook. So again, we're about halfway through the time. Stick that back in the oven and go back to your position again. Oh wait, we need to rinse out the sink though. That's a very okay. important thing um, because otherwise the grease will stick. So you wanna make sure that you rinse it out right away. Perfect. All right, and we'll be back. And we're back. All right, time flies when you're cutting and editing. So, <laughs> We have a minute left, which you can't see, but mm -hmm. trust us on Blue. that. Minuto. All right, so. <laughs> Minuto. 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 No, 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 no. Minuto. All right, so. we're gonna start our um, potato. I've got it. We already got some of the ingredients out. You're gonna need milk, butter. Two tablespoons of butter. And two cups of water, hot water. Hot water, so go All ahead right. and grab the water. All right. We've got the pan on the stove, so we're gonna go ahead and put that straight into the pan. There's one. Oh no! Menudo! Also, these are my favorite cooking tools. Okay, I have a lot of cool cooking tools. But these are measuring cups that are flat and then you just pop it out. And they stay yeah. really easily. All right, so and then we they need go flat. the water. We need half a cup of milk. I should have poured that over there, but that was pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then two tablespoons of butter. And Don't do that. <laughs> that's the timer for the meatloaf. So what we're gonna do is we are going to let that boil while we take out the meatloaf. Mm -hmm. Oh, I reached my step goal. Yay! 
ever had to wear my step gold count. Okay, on. so you still need to pour out some of this grease once again. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the can of tomato sauce and just pour it right over the top. Make sure it spreads evenly though, because uh, you don't want to have to like spread it around with the spoon. You can though. <laughs> Can. Can. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pour that just right over the top of this for you guys to see. Nice and smooth. Again, this is a can of Hunt's tomato sauce. You can just use regular tomato sauce. Oh, that is boiling over. That happens too. What are your cooking and so you're cooking inside. Turn that down just did a little bit. We talk about that we're novices. So okay, we're not very good at this. Brilliant idea. All right. So Kate's gonna open the oven for me. I burped, but she didn't hear it. That's a fun fact. I don't burp very loud. <laughs> um, we need to, what was I saying? Oh, put this in, cover it, and then simmer about 15 minutes, stirring occasionally until the potatoes are tender. down to low? Low. All right, and then we do timer. How long again? 15 minutes. I'm gonna keep saying it wrong so it seemed intentional. And we're done. Ta-da! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so now we just need to remove things from the oven. Oh, that was not a good idea. Okay. I I would help, but. <laughs> Hands. And now it's time to plate. And now it's like they do in the cooking shows, except ours is not going to look pretty. You could probably cut this into um, four or five pieces, depending on your family size. That was our cooking show. Thanks for joining us. This has been meatloaf and uh, gratin potatoes or something. Potato. All right. Um, thank you for watching. If you stayed this long, you're fantastic. We would love to keep doing that. And also, send us like recipes and ideas and for what you want to see us make. totally mess up. Oh, especially if you're really fun if it's hard, because you're probably going to have a lot of that, more of that, that mishap or whatever yeah. and such and such. Yeah. So. All right. So, join us next time. All right. Bye. I almost did my thing. <laughs> this isn't your show. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.